How's it going everybody and welcome back to another episode of Bee Swarm Simulator. My name is McProsoph and today we're going to get a world record on the snail. Shout outs to these peeps. I do need more names. So if you want to shout out in our next video, leave them in the comments below so that I can type your name as well. So here's the hive. I'm going to make it real quick so I can get onto the snail. This is going to be at least an hour stream. So as you can see, all level 15, level 16 vicious, all gifted. Uh, quickly, we'll run through. I think I have 13 ninjas and 12 gifted lion bees. So if you guys want to pause, this is a quick scroll through. And of course, you can count the bees in the hive if you want. And I will quickly scroll through my stats. All shown here. Uh, Murphy Gaming and Super Boy Gamer. What's up, guys? How's it going, Rick? All right, here we go. So, beep. This is literally the world record for a snail, since no one else has ever recorded the entire kill live. Uh, I could literally take eight hours and still get the high score. So, uh, we are one and a half minutes into the stream, so we will deduct that at the end. Let's go ahead and press our sprinkler and use a very handy nine millimeter device. We're gonna start our oil and coconut thing. I'm not gonna waste anything on stingers. As you can see, he just started at 30 million. I think maybe I had a couple hits just because uh, testing to see if he was back. But we are well on our road to a world record. Um, make sure somebody type in the chat uh, to uh, deduct one and a half minutes, or we could type it in chat, either one. Somebody type deduct 1.5 minutes. So, no matter how fast I kill this, it will be a world record, because literally no one else on the entire internet has recorded the entire kill live. I have seen SD Mittens way back in the day did a fast video of killing the snail. However, there were there were gaps in the video, meaning it would be at 25 mil, then 15 mil, then 10. No one has ever shown a world record all in one piece. What's up, TY fam? Explaining now. So I've used my oil and my coconut. I will redistribute those in eight minutes. Hopefully this rage comes back. Three seconds go, nice. So for those that didn't know and have not killed their snail yet, if you are jumping constantly like this, you will collect every single one of the tokens. And since I collect every single token, and those tokens that I collect during battle count for Demon Mask, I will trigger my flame, the X flame, quite often. So uh, we should we should do pretty good. I, I'm kind of guessing under an hour. He's already down to just sub 29 million. So I think we do a million damage every two or three rounds, and we need to do 29 million. So it's gonna be. I'm going to guess around 45 minutes. Around 45. But it could take as long as an hour and a half. Not really sure. I think with my oil and coconut though, it should go pretty fast. I could use stingers, and I will in the future. But as of right now, I have no contenders for world record. There is no board. I think there should be a board. Uh, on it, if you're watching this in the future, put up a snail world record board. That way... Uh, we could race on snail. I think that'd be a pretty cool idea. Uh, if you haven't killed your snail before, I want to let you know that there is an option in the game. I will make sure to click this occasionally so that I don't get booted. If you are just jumping, the game can still boot you for AFK. But if you haven't killed your snail before and you have a keyboard, you can actually take a decently heavy piece of material, put it on the space bar, and then walk away from your computer. It's pretty nice. Am I using an auto key presser? Uh, yes, right now I'm using a 9mm magazine that just so happens to weigh, I'd say, 12 ounces. 
and it's just the same size as my space bar so it holds it down pretty well that way I can just chat with you guys the whole time looks like we're 28.2 mil all right so 28.2 mil right there let's see what it's at after one full rotation we're doing a lot of damage Oh, you, you do a auto-clicker, Collier? Yeah, a lot of people do auto-clickers and stuff like that. I personally just put something on the spacebar. Seems a lot faster. How's it going, Chris? What's up, uh, Premium Collier? Collier? Murphy Quake? Do you guys have any questions about b -Sam? So he was at 28.7, I want to say. What's he at now? Oh, yeah. So we're doing a million damage every circle every time it goes around i do a million damage that's crazy so he's at 900 thou right now yep so once it gets to right there every time he rotates i do a million damage so about 30 rotations he'll be dead you kill it in five hours four hours i'm hoping to get it in under an hour we do have to deduct one and a half minutes but that's nothing uh, if this stream is over within an hour, that'd be awesome. It takes you years? Yeah. If you have lower level bees, this is really hard. But since all of my hive is geared towards just attack and not farming, the snail is really where I shine. I did want to give a shout out to Pepega, 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 whatever his name is. He did finally pass me on stick bug, so I'm going to have to do some work. Shouldn't be too hard, though. I do need to figure out how I'm going to go ahead and grind for the honey. I do need to get uh, 800 billion for the next hive slot, and that's a lot of honey. Ooh. So I'm kind of torn between 800 billion for another bee, or 120 billion for each individual level. There's a new amulet for snow? Yes. So currently, as you can see here, I have a uh, diamond. Which is pretty good. It gives some good stats. But if I get uh, Supreme, which is better than Diamond today, that'd be really nice. That would be nice. So, 27.3. Let's see if I can knock off 300,000 by the time it gets over there to that the right-hand side of the screen. Push. It really determines... Uh, your amount of damage determines on your vicious bee. So notice that vicious bee just went off and did about a hundred thousand, a hundred thousands worth of damage. That's crazy. What's up, Roger? So we got about forty-five minutes to go. Let's go ahead and read some stats. So my diamond star amulet, instant convert, critical chance. I didn't know that had critical chance on it. Cool. Interesting. If I did want to farm, though, I need to get a Bomber Bee and a Gifted Demo Bee. Because if they're gifted, they actually boost my Lion Bee. I guess I'll continue jumping if I have this menu open. So I'm going to look at it for a minute. Uh, I did drop the Basic Bee, so that kind of sucks too on for farming. But Bomber Bee would give me 15% Bomb Pollen. And then Demo Bee would give me 25% Buzz Bomb Pollen. So I wonder if Bomb Pollen uh, also counts for Buzz Bomb Pollen. Are Buzz Bombs considered bombs? I guess. I don't know. I see with my Lion Bee, I think the only token he drops is Buzz Bomb. Yep. And the Lion Bee has actually been really good for white fields. I do really well in Coconut. Because his bombs do not really care what color the uh, the field is. What's up, Robin? You just got windy yesterday? Nice. Congrats. Why am I jumping? That's a good question. If you jump, your rage bees and other bees that do token link will come to you and allow you to gather your token link instantly, which gathers all your other tokens. That way I don't have to move. So coconut could be done in probably a day if I'd really hardcore push. Maybe I need to do that. 
I haven't seen anybody that's done the pepper badge yet, though. Is that five trillion? Maybe five billion? I think it's like five trillion to get 10%, though. I just heard a vicious bee stinger. Good luck. What's up, Jeff? You know a glitch? Which one? Which one? We should buy some stuff from the shop. What should we buy? You guys want to play Name That Thing? Let's name that thing. There's a cereal that is super bland. And honestly, I don't know how anyone eats it. They're little tiny circles. They're made of oats, apparently. And the mascot is a bee. Name that cereal, win 300 points. Ooh. So it looks like we're coming up on our first 10 minutes. Uh, I'm going to have to renew these. We already have the boss down probably, I'd say 10%, 15% dead. So around 15% dead in 10 minutes. How long until we completely kill him? So uh, oil and coconut now. Boink. There we go. And we got 10 more minutes for that. 5% crit and 1.2% B movement speed. Cheerios, number one. What's up, Roger? Roger wins. Tabitha's here. How's it going, Tabitha? You guys want to join me? Exclamation mark join. Come by and leave your name. Also, we are doing another giveaway. I think I can move around on the screen, right? If I do this, it's okay? Yeah, that's okay. Let's go ahead and look at this direction. Seems kind of weird. Can I see Pepperfield from here? Kinda. How much damage have I done? He's at 25.7. Going down fast. So 30 or so more minutes. Then we will have the world record documented. Hey Jeff, thanks a lot buddy. Did you guys know if I hit 10k subs I can start sharing my videos in the Bee Swarm official Discord? That's pretty cool. If you guys want to help and share with a buddy, that'd be really cool. Also, if you guys want to help me with those first 20 likes, that'd be phenomenal. What's up, Max? Hey, Honey Bear, I saw you in Discord. What's up, friend? I need to add you back to the server. Good old Joel. Mr. Fresh Toucan, what's up, buddy? Alright, 25.4 million. And dropping fast. So we started at a minute and a half. This is our second oil. So we've going, been going for about 12 minutes, I guess. Time is ticking slow. Uh, Cayenne toasting takes you five hours. Man, that's a long time. What's up, Monge? I'm hoping to kill it within an hour. Uh, if I don't do it first try, uh, next time I'll probably blow a few stingers. It's totally doable with stingers, I just don't want to waste them. It's really not worth it. If I get a Supreme Saturator or a Supreme Amulet though, Supreme Amulet from the snail, I will do a giveaway. Good old Joel. I see you Joel, what's up man? You need Robux? Gotta get that job, boy. Get a job. So we just hit 25 mil. 5 mil down. Alright, so we did 5 million damage in 13 minutes. So what is 30 divided by 5? 6? So, what is 6 times 13? 6 times 13 is... Blank. 78? So, does that mean I need 78 minutes? I think we're looking at 78 minutes. Created Hero, what's up, man? What are the chances of getting a Supreme Snail Amulet? Very low. I think you have to have a certain amount of kills. I want to say 15 plus or higher 
It's pretty low. I've killed it a few times since the update and I haven't seen one. You will get Supreme Amulet at 50 plus kills? What? Is that for real, Rick? You need 50 kills? I feel like I have that many, but I don't know for sure. So you think an hour and 27 minutes? Ugh, I hope it's not that long. I may have to use a stinger or two, I don't know. If somebody's here in the field running around, I could drop a jelly bean. But he's dropping pretty fast. 24.4, I feel like we're gonna get lucky. On it said 10 kills. That's a big gap. So Ro Rick says 50, Roger says 10. Keep using stingers, I could. Sock brief, I could. What's up, Mr. Ha? I could use stingers and and beat my score, but here's the thing. I kind of want to record this to encourage other players that kill the snail to record their entire kill. That way we can kind of compete, and then I'll use stingers to beat them. I don't want my first score to be my highest, because then I have to compete with myself. You seen one of the top 10 honey makers and you had no bear bee? That, that's believable. I could understand that. It's possible. I've dropped a few event bees myself. I'm actually considering dropping gummy bee. You need at least 10, Roger? And you found a link for that? If you could shoot me a link in Discord, Roger, that'd be cool. That way I can show it in the next stream. Alright, we just surpassed 24 million. We're now down to 23. We've done 7 million in 16 minutes. You have 200 sprouts, nice. We should get you on the server and do a sprout party. Hey, Tracy. I, I really like those special characters. Those look beautiful. Somebody tell me what language that is. Let's go ahead and do a name that thing. I'm thinking of a specific food. They are basically miniature noodles. It has cheese. And... Kids like to eat it. Name that thing. It's made by a company called Kraft. Name that food. Yeah, Gummy B, I don't think is very good for attack. I have considered getting rid of him, but as of right now, he's my only source of decent farming at all. I do put my gummy mask on sometimes and, and knock out a few billion when I'm bored. But it costs 120 billion to level a bee now, and that just takes too long. Uh, Cayenne Toast and Honey Bear tied for mac and cheese. Well done. What's up, Wendy? Lunchables, that's hilarious. Demonic Hellfire, what's up, man? I haven't seen you in a while. I actually unfriended you this morning because I, I was just unfriending a bunch of inactives. If you want to send me another friend request, let me know. Roman noodles? Is it ramen noodles? Do you guys like noodles? Seems like everybody likes noodles. Mac and cheese. Let's do another one. Let's do one that's really difficult. Um, um, um. I'm thinking of a spice. And this spice is used in a type of chewing gum that I dislike greatly called Big Red. What spice is used in Big Red? Name that spice. So spice. Uh, 23.1 million? We're getting there. We are getting there. In about two minutes, I need to renew my oil. Notice that my crit, melody, haste, and rage all stay up at all times. I don't think I've seen a tornado yet. Have we seen a single tornado? I don't think so. Interesting. Do I add people on Roblox? Yes, I'm currently near friend capped right now. If you want to join, type exclamation mark join in chat and you can join me. Hey, there we go. Cinnamon, demonic hellfire. Anybody else say it first? I didn't see. Somebody said pepper, something acid. <laughs> demonic hellfire, number one. You get 50 points. So, I am thinking of a specific dinosaur next. This dinosaur has three horns, 
on its head. It's rather large. I want to say 25 plus tons. And it used to be my favorite dinosaur. I think it kind of still is. It more or less kind of resembles a dump truck. I want to say it was a plant eater. And it could kind of charge like a rhino. Name that dinosaur and win a bag of pineapples. Why do I jump? I jump to gather all my tokens instantly. If you'll notice on the screen, the token links and other tokens are coming to me. That's my bees flying to me because I'm jumping. If you stand still, they do not do this. You must jump. Also, if you are jumping, make sure that you occasionally open your menu. That way you don't get knocked off for AFK. So 25 seconds until oil. I'm going to try to do it in the last five or so. A Tacosaurus. That's hilarious. Those are Grady, Sock, Wendy. A lot of people said it right. Triceratops. Well done. Well done. Alright, let's see. Nine seconds to go on oil. Let's go ahead and do it. Good. He is taking damage like a boss. What's he at right now? Is that 22.4? Not bad. We are well on our way to a world record. Uh, exclamation mark, hi dad. Happy Father's Day. Uh, make sure that you set your clocks back an hour, ladies and gents. You do not want to miss out on a free hour of the day. Set your clocks back an hour. Enjoy a free hour on me. What's up, Joel? You trying to join? If you type exclamation mark join, I will accept you. But if you have a bigger hive, 40 or more bees, I will give you first priority. So make sure to come to my Discord by typing estimation mark Discord and sending me a hive pick. Can I see how many people are on? I see at least four hives down there. Five. How close? I see he's about a quarter of the way there. That's about 25%, maybe 20. We're getting there. So we're about, we've used two oils, so we're about 22 minutes in. Can we do it within an hour? Cayenne Toast, what's up buddy? I have a hive full of legendary bees, which should I jelly? Are you gonna do a star jelly, Grady? I'd really have to see your hive to know that answer. Why am I jumping? I need to post that on the screen. I jumped to collect all my tokens. If you auto jump like this by using something on your space bar, you can gather all the tokens instantly instead of running around. So right now while I'm talking to you guys, I literally have a weight on my space bar that jumps for me. You can use a book, a heavy item, whatever fit floats your boat and you just jump notice all my tokens get gathered and i don't have to do much you do occasionally have to click your menu so you don't get dc'd what's up jk you believe in the one hour kill it's totally doable I i'm pretty sure i can knock it sub 30 minutes if i really tried hard Let's see how many star jellies I have. 250 tickets, not bad considering yesterday I got a star treat. Micro converters is low. Let's see. I got quite a few glitters though. I don't know where I'm getting the glitters from. I guess Wendy Bee and, and uh, Sprout Parties. A lot of glue too. 300 oil, 500 enzymes. Uh, I've been crafting tropical drinks because I like to use these whenever we do stick bug. Hey, there's a, a uh, tornado finally. I finally got 12,000 sunflowers so I can gift another uh, ninja bee if I wanted to. Same for strawberry. And blueberry, wow. What else? 72 star jellies, nice. I guess at 100 I might try for one more uh, lion bee. But honestly at this point I think my hive is set. I don't think I'm going to do many more changes. 
I've considered getting rid of the gummy bee, but I think I really need him if I'm gonna harvest any honey at all. Bumblebee egg from killing the spider monsters. Pretty cool stuff. Crimson bee, Fasta bee, Puppy bee. Most good. Let's go ahead and guess some more stuff. Name that thing. There is a video game character that I hold near and dear to my little heart, who is blue, and he shoots little he shoots a little gun out of his hand. And he can dash, he can jump off walls, and he's very mega. Mega. You're still watching me? That is good to know. So, let's see here. We've gone through two oils, and we're down to five minutes on this one. So about 25 minutes in. Hey Josh, what's up buddy? Josh came back, nice. You guys want to help me out with a sub or two? That'd be awesome. Once we hit 10k subs, I can I can share my videos in the Bee Swarm Discord, and that will like super launch us to 20k subs. So help, help, help. Mega Man, number one answer. I like the Sonic answer. That's that's interesting. I miss playing Sonic. It's been a long time. Got 20 likes, man. I feel like we could easily hit 30. How many people watching? What's up, Fall Husky? Good old Muhammad. What's up, buddy? Can you join? Can we type exclamation mark join? That's how to do it. Exclamation mark join. I just realized how far down his health is, and it's actually decent. Is he about 30% dead, you guys think? Percentage-wise, what is, what is 20 out of 30? Is that two-thirds? So he's 33% dead? Right? Is that right? All right, we've killed 33% in 26 minutes. So what is 26 minutes times three? I think we're looking at an hour and 20 minutes here. Why are there barely any people? There's there's some people, let's see. Got a guy over here, a guy over here. Got some watchers. I think the server's actually full, but if you're referring to people watching the stream, uh, killing the snail is pretty boring. I don't blame him. I just wanted to get this out there because killing a snail completely has never been done on stream. And I just wanted to go ahead and claim the world record for myself. Anybody could have done this, even with like level 6 bees. Assuming they could hit the snail. But uh, I just wanted to get the world record out there. We got a world record on stick bug. It held it for a few days. want to go ahead and get a snail world record. You don't think under 60 minutes? If I used a few stingers, it could, it could work. 478 watching. That'd be crazy. That would be crazy. So we're going to continuously open our menu. Let's check out my questing. Are you guys still doing the uh, spirit bear quest? I need to feed a thousand sunflower seeds to your bees. I wonder if I could do that from here. You guys think I could? Look how, look how steady my hand would need to be. So that's my hive, if you can see it right there, the far right one. There's a specific lion bee. Let's see if I can click him. I don't think I can even click from that far away. Nope, not quite. Goo from sunflower, pollen from sunflower. Gross. If I put my gummy mask on, I should be able to knock those out in five minutes. Hey Jeff, what's up buddy? What is the current snail world record? Well, since it's never been live streamed, there currently isn't one. So if I beat this in a full day and stream the whole thing with uh, no cutscenes, I would have the world record. There was a, a kill from SD Mittens probably six plus months ago where she more or less did it fast mode and kind of cut scenes out. But if you cut the scenes out, you don't really have a time reference. There's no clock. 
So this will be a world record just because of no other entries. What's up, Chris? That is a lot of damage. Check out those numbers. Looks like my bees on average hit for 264. Vicious bee does 100,000 damage every time it goes off. And then of course the demon mask does whatever it does. What are we at now? 19.1? He's nearing 50% pretty quickly here. Uh, got 45 seconds until I use the oil. I do want to use that right at the last 5 seconds or so. Read your last message. Do Pokemon quiz for our Pokeballs, please. Alright, you want to do Pokeballs? Uh, let's go ahead and type exclamation mark Pokeballs, guys. Let's go ahead and take a tour through the Safari Zone. Have your Pokeballs ready. I'm going to describe a Pokemon, and you have to type exclamation mark, then his name. So type exclamation mark Pokeballs. What's up, Joel? I'll give you uh, access in a few minutes, buddy. I have to approve your request. Exclamation mark Pokeballs. Grab your Pokeballs, and I will describe a Pokemon. Once I describe, whoever's first to type exclamation mark Pokemon with its name uh, will win a million dollars. Looks like we're down to 18 million now. He's melting fast. I don't know what changed. He is melting fast. Okay, there's all the Pokeballs. Congrats. First Pokemon. This is the very first bird. The very first bird. Not flying type, but bird in Gen 1. As you're going through from Bulbasaur, Ivasaur, Venusaur, what is the first bird that you encounter in the Pokedex? Exclamation mark, name the bird, win a billion doll hairs. Name that bird. Uh, 18.4, should be 18.3 after that vicious. Who's gonna type it right? Is it Honey Bear? Let's see. The uh, Night Butt will tell us who won. Whichever one pops up first. Who caught the first Pidgey? Uh, Techie. Just bought some Pokeballs. Who caught the first Pidgey? Come on, Night Butt. Don't be lazy. Who caught the first one? Night Butt. Night Butt. I hope I entered uh, Pidgey's command. I know it's in there. Come on, Pidgey. It must be really backlogged because people are still buying Pokeballs. Well, it looks like Pidgey failed. That sucks. So everybody just lost their Pidgeys. Pidgey, Pidgey, Pidgey escaped. Pidgey escaped. Let's do another one. So there's a little worm Pokemon. Pidgey was number one answer. There's a little worm. And it's not Caterpie. Gen 1. It's got a little stinger. And I think... Was this the Pokemon that Misty was afraid of? I think Misty was afraid of Caterpie. Name the other worm Pokemon. Exclamation mark. With his name. What's up, Techie? What is up, Techie? We've used three oils. And we're three minutes into this one. So, 33 minutes. And about half dead. I may use, like, two stingers just to keep it sub one hour. We'll see. Oh, I see a Weedle. Carla. Carla wins. There you go. You caught the Weedle. GG. You got five McCoins. Well done. Uh, Roger, can you type exclamation mark give 1,000? All one word. Here's a new, another one. So back in Gen 1, there was an electric type Pokemon that you could find in the power plant. And he had an odd body that was mostly yellow and had like black lightning bolts all over his body. His cousin, in a way, back in Gen 1, was Magmar. So think Magmar, but electric type. Name that Pokemon. Make sure to do an exclamation mark before so that you win. Shoutouts to Carla. I saw you. World record's going well. I think is officially nearing 50%. Watch how much damage this, this uh, Vicious does. Bam, 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 bam. 100,000 damage whenever he is. Level 16 Vicious B, super OP. I can't wait to see how fast the snail dies at level 20. That's gonna be crazy. 
Not Electrode. Not Pacheco. Don't know what that is. Uh, Chris, I think you got it. Let's see. Or no, I think Honey Bear, actually. Electabuzz was number one answer. Let's see what Night Boss says. Somebody caught a Pikachu, though. The number one. There we go. Honey Bear. Honey Bear just got Electabuzz. Here is your satchel of points. You win over 200 points. GG. Electabuzz number one. Let's keep going. So this Pokemon was seen in an episode back in Gen 1 next to a lighthouse. It was dark outside, and this giant Pokemon with bright white eyes was seen walking in the ocean. It was massive, like bigger than the lighthouse itself, like 100 foot tall. I don't know why it was that big. It was never explained. But it was huge. It's a dragon, and he's right next to Mewtwo and the Pokedex. Hey, Cuphead, what's up, buddy? Krabby, that's funny. Hey, what's up, Toffee? Lapras is an interesting answer, but not quite. It was a dragon. He evolves three times? Oh, typical Eric. I think you won. Let's see who got it. Uh, Eric just cut a Dragonite worth a thousand coins. GG, sir. Most good. Anybody think that Dragonite's super OP? I feel like with Dragon Rage early on, Ice Beam later, man, what a great well-rounded Pokemon. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. So Dragon Dragonite versus Charizard, who do you think would win? Like, given their, they both had the best stats possible, who would win and why? I think uh, Dragonite can learn Thunderbolt, right? So maybe he would just win? What is Dragon weak to? Other Dragon moves? No one knows. So we're, we're approaching 50, 50%. He does have 30 million max, so... And about a million. He'll be 50% dead. I am tempted to use a couple stingers just so we can get this ended right under an hour. Given we started 1 minute and 30 seconds into the stream, I will deduct that at the end. But I think we're on par for a 1 hour kill. Ice type? Dragons are weak to ice? Interesting. More versatile in water moves? Dra Dragonite can do water moves? I need to go back and play some Pokemon Stadium. I kind of want to see who would win now. Alright, moving along with the Pokemon. Let's see who else we got here. Let's check the checklist. What does the checklist say? Ooh, here we go. Uh, the only hint is 151. Name that Pokemon. The mythical, unheard of, only seen in early Gen 1 if you glitch, 151. Name that Pokemon. We have very little melody left. Please get melody. Please get melody. There it is. Nice. Melody is so good. 100% crit power. Let's see what my crit is right now. Crit power is 618%. That is a little cray. A little cray. Alright, let's see. Who got it first? Honey Bear. Honey Bear wins again. Well done. Even Tabitha knows. And she's a stay-at-home transcriptionist. Well done. I really I think Mew is my favorite Pokemon. There's a Pokemon card where he's laying down on a, li a lily pad. I tell the story every time I talk about him. It's a great, great card. Let's see, who else? Who else can we talk about? So I'm thinking of beginner Pokemon now, and I want to name specifically the fire type. Name the fire type beginning Pokemon in Gen 1. Go go. I actually watched a video last night. We're officially at 50%, by the way. 
50% and I want to say 30, 39 minutes. 39 minutes in. So it's looking like an hour and 18 minutes for this kill. I'm not going to use stingers. I may cave at the very end, but I don't want to. I am kind of curious how much damage I would do though. If I did one stinger. Charmander, well done. Who's gonna win? Let's see what Nightbot thinks. Charmander number one. Hey, Circuit Puppet, what's up, buddy? Does Nightbot not want to give out a free Charmander? Interesting. Yeah, I don't think it works either. Interesting. Somebody do exclamation mark Bulbasaur. This gotta work. Alright, we're gonna test Nightbot real quick. Uh, there is a professional wrestler. I want you guys to make sure to do exclamation mark, then his name, and see if Nightbot can do it. Uh, Ninja Bloxing, what's up, buddy? There is a professional wrestler who has his own theme song. And he usually wrestles without a shirt on. I guess that doesn't narrow it down much. Um, I don't know if he has a saying or not. Just name who I'm thinking about. It's very difficult. Very difficult. Alright, I see you guys testing out the Bulbasaur. It should work. There we go. Nice. Congrats. Alright, we are at 15... Wow, that took forever. 15.0 million? This last remaining 20 or so mil is taking forever. Or 20,000? There we go. Somebody got it. The guy with no name. John Cena. GG. Let's see who caught him. Anybody catch the John Cena? I think Tabitha's gonna get him. Got it, Tabitha. Just caught a John Cena worth uh, 5,000 coins. Congrats. Alright, we are officially half done. Ooh, oil fell off. No wonder. It is considerably slower if oil falls off. That's why it was going slow. Wow. Look at it now, though. So it's at 14.8. 14.7. I go through 100,000 in like two movements of the snail. That's great. Uh, let's go mosey on over to pop culture. I guess that's a thing. And we're going to talk about a girl who sings songs. And she specifically sings a song that says something about bad blood. I saw Mar Mariska Hargitay in the video. Uh, a bunch of sassy, sassy female actresses was in the video. Name that artist. Name that artist. Look at the damage. Would you look at it? Just look at it. Really hard to steady. Steady with jumping. Hey, what's up, Clark? How's it going, Ryan Lamb? Who's gonna say her name first? Taylor Swift, well done. You know what? I need to add uh, commands for like every question I ask. That way you guys could catch a Taylor Swift. That'd be funny. Taylor Swift. Can I name a single other Taylor Swift song? Um, hmm. No, I can't. I can't name another one. Oh, shake it off. There we go. I'm officially a Taylor Swift fan. You gotta shake it off. I still don't know what that song is about. I assume it's about bees when they get on you. you gotta shake it off. Alright, let's keep going on the Pokemon thing. Let's keep going. Who do we have next? Oh, well, that one's pretty easy. So, Pokemon 150. Number 150. The incredible created Pokemon. Name that guy. Hey, Ninja Boom, what's up, buddy? Just getting a world record. You know how I do. Man, I don't know what I ate last night, but it just came out. That was pretty gross. 
Oh boy. Look at all these uh, spectators over here just watching me. This is very interesting. I kind of want to type in chat, but I don't want to mess up my space bar. If you guys want to come over here and kill your snail, that'd be cool. I see you guys spectating from the pineapple. I see Enzo over there. Mewtwo, well done. How do you give so much damage? Uh, if you scroll to, to the very beginning of the video, I have all level 15 bees, and nearly half of them are gifted lion bees. I have 12 gifted lion bees. Mewtwo didn't work either? No way. That sucks. I need to fix that, I guess. And 13 gifted ninja bees. Now, I had the ninja bees. People always ask, why do you have ninja bees? Because my diamond sick bug amulet gives plus two blue bee attack. And if you didn't know, one bee that does the most damage in your hive is actually the vicious bee. And if you have a vicious bee, which is blue, plus an amulet that gives plus two bee attack power, his impale move actually does more damage. Fun fact. Oh, you got fired, Ryan? That sucks. How'd you get fired? Uh, that's an interesting thing, Joseph. So, plus one colorless bee attack if you have the coconut boots. But, if you look at the gummy boots, it actually has plus 10% bee attack power. So, quite a bit better. Quite a bit better. I want to say the gummy, the, uh, the coconut boots only have plus 5%. I would have to look at the rest of the stats on it though. Pretty sure gummy boots are better. Alright, we are looking at 13.2 million. How are we doing on oil? Five minutes to go. Hey, what's up, Zach? So I think we're around 45 minutes in. Marvel questions? I don't know much about Marvel. You guys ever play a game called uh, Mario Brothers 2, where you picked up the little mushrooms and you could throw them, and you had to kill a guy named Birdo? If you can tell me, the first person to tell me all four playable characters in Mario 2, you win a purse of points and a bunch of blueberries. Go, go. Who can do it? I need all four characters. Hey, Christopher G. What's up, buddy? I also play Bee Swarm. Nice. What's up, Ralph? How's it going, Moose? Let's name bees. That's a good one. That's a good answer. That's a good answer. I could do that, Carla. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks for the new sub. If you donate 15 stingers, you will get one minute of plus 250% B attack power? What? I don't know if that's true at all. That would be interesting to see though. I would need a lot of stingers. Uh, Joseph, did you try that yourself? Thanks for the subs, by the way. Once I hit 10k subs, the channel's just gonna explode. I do thank you guys so much because once I hit 10k, we can officially share videos in the Bee Swarm uh, official Discord. And once that happens, we are going to get eyeballs like nobody's business. Uh, Christopher, that's close, man. So Luigi, Mario, Peach, and Toad. I've seen multiple players said, said warriors. I don't know where you guys got that from. You guys think Toad is a warrior? You've tried it, Joseph? That's interesting. What would you do with one minute of that attack, though? Alright, two minutes left on oil. You guys remind me. At the last five seconds of oil, we need to use another one. There we go. Honey Bear got it. 
by util utilize the coconut shield. Ooh, that's that's true. Uh, Leah, let me let me get hit once. Let me get hit once. Bam. Oh crap! I lost my jumper. My jumper fell on the floor. Please don't lose my rage. So when that happens, I need to read it again. But apparently, your attack and stuff goes up if you get hit one time. Let's read what that does, because it's got a cooldown right now. Oh boy. There we go. I don't think crit fell off, did it? Get a crit token. There we go. Shoot. That was close. Hey, SS Rooster. What's up, buddy? We almost lost it. In one minute, you did a million damage to Stump Snail. That's pretty cool. So if you donate 15 stingers, you get a really high boost of attack. I guess that'd be really good for me using... Uh, doing that on Crab, I guess. I could try that. So let's read what this says. Upon taking damage, activates a shield that grants 100% defense and... 1.25B attack for 10 seconds. And drops 5 falling coconuts into the field. So... 1.25B attack for 10 seconds is kind of good. I guess that'd be really good on Crab. But given you can only activate this every 4 minutes... I guess I should do that for uh, Snail in the future. Interesting. Good tip. Should you get Sprinklers or Hive Slot? Always get Hive Slot. I am a firm believer that until your bees are level 14, you do not need Saturator. Do not waste your money. Uh, just specifically buy more high slots and level your bees. That's all you need to know. Alright, last 11 mil. We keep opening the quest just so we don't get booted off. You won't die. It's what I do while killing crab. Interesting. So I guess if your defense is boosted for 10 seconds, is 100% defense zero damage? Like, once that's on, you take zero damage from all all things? What could you use that for? I guess getting real close to crab? I don't know. What's my favorite game of Roblox? Probably this. All other games in Roblox are kind of kind of crap. Gummy boots or hive slot? I'd still go with hive slot. The gear in the game is kind of overrated. Your bees really do a majority of the work. You subscribe today, Macy. Thanks a lot, friend. Let's see, bee trivia? Okay. Uh, let's start at the bottom and work our way around. Name that bee. I'm thinking of a bee that is literally on fire. And it's not the demon bee. Name that bee. How far do we have to go? I wonder how much damage 1.25% B attack is. Let's see. B attack. Interesting. I don't really understand what that means. Alright, so... I guess all of my bees, let's say... Let's say my vicious bee does 45 attack. If this triggers... It's boosted by 1.25, I guess. But with how many bees I have, that would be a lot of damage. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So I guess we can do that again in 50 seconds. So I guess some moving around on Snail World Record will, will have to happen. Fire bee, GG. Most good. Uh, Veronica says, what are tips you can give me to be OP at Bee Swarm Simulator? Grind, 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 and then grind some more. S specifically focus on leveling bees and getting more bee slots. If you really want to be OP fast, focus specifically on hive slots. Don't even really worry about leveling your bees. Obviously unlock all the, the locations so you can get the free stuff. 
Uh, get all the free stuff you can. Actively do ant challenge. A lot of people neglect doing ant challenge. And just get the passes every few minutes or hours. Uh, let's see. Don't really focus too much on attack until much later in the game. Eventually you can get your stick bug amulet, but... You don't really want to even pursue stick until you have at least around 40 bees. Because it's just really hard and it takes a lot of materials. If you do do a stick bug and let's say you didn't have an amulet and you finally got bronze, I personally would just be happy with the bronze for quite a while until you level your bees a few more times. But if I could do it all over again, I would specifically just focus on hive slots and not really even level my bees. Maybe get them to 8 or 9, but then just hive slots. Name the light bee? That's a good one. Photon bee it is. What's up, Jaden? How many stump snails have you defeated? I want to say it's over 40. want to say it's over 40. What do all my amulets do? That's a good question. Let's see. Uh, Petal Belt. King Beetle Amulet gives me plus one bee attack, which is phenomenal. I used to have the plus one blue bee attack, but I recently got the one that is just plus one bee attack. I don't know if it can have bee attack and blue or red. That'd be cool. But for right now, the King Beetle Amulet I have is really great because Bamboo is plus 99%. So always buffed. That's the uh, same as having a glitter in that field at all times. And since I have 13 gifted ninja bees, this helps tremendously. Uh, looks like I can do my buff thing again, so let's try that without falling off. Get the rage. All right, take damage. Okay. And do this, bam. Look at the numbers. Yeah, that did quite a bit of damage. Especially with uh, the Vicious token. So whoever mentioned the uh, emergency coconut shell, good on you. You defeated the snail three times and still only have bronze? Yeah, there's a, a wiki out there that will show you how many times you need to defeat it in order to get better amulets. I'm glad you put that in the game. Because a lot of people were killing it first try and actually getting, like, gold and diamond. And a lot of people felt pretty upset about that. I know the McWife that we just streamed, uh, she has killed it at least 20 times and only has gold. The diamond just never happens. So we are sub 10 million. How many likes do we have, guys? Can we hit 40? Could we do 40 likes? Good luck, Joel. What's up, Ralph? You can do it. Your next slot's over 100 billion? Be happy with that. What's up, Ethan? My next hype slot is 800 billion. You wish you defeated the stumps now? Uh, it's pretty cool. If you're super low level, it's just not your time to do it yet. Really focus on bees. I kind of want to make a new account now and just grind. Show you guys how fast I can get bees. But let's go on over the rest of the amulets here. There's the moon amulet. So ant amulet plus one bee attack. This one uh, I recently got that had 48% crit power. Very helpful. Very helpful. 2% uh, crit chance. There are some that give 3%, but... That's what I had before, but this crit power one right here really helps get big scores. How did I get all that honey? This is only a day or two's worth of honey, actually. I just have very high level bees. You just got your first snail amulet, Clark? Congrats. How many stick bug how many stick bugs did you kill? I kill at least 40 stick bugs a day. At least. Uh moon amulet. The honey per pollen on this is really good. However, since I don't really farm anymore, I could probably turn this into instant convert. But I, I keep it because of the 50% white pollen. That helps in just about any field when doing a stick bug. Next up we got the diamond stick bug amulet. Super powerful. Uh, the plus one bee attack is tremendous. And the plus two blue bee attack really helps with ninja bees. So ninja bee is top three fastest bee in the game. And if I can boost him with attack, like you see here, 
he's even better. So, the 9% B attack is really, really good. The only better amulet that I could get in the game would be this exact same thing, but one additional B attack percentage. But that never happens. I kill, like I said, anywhere from 40 to 50 sticks a day. Never, never see it. What's up, Epic Gamer? Your next hive slot is 300 million? Nice. Keep on grinding. My next hive slot is 800 billion, and I don't think I'll ever get it. Ever. 50 bees is too much. Diamond Star Amulet. This guy here. I didn't realize he gave me 8% instant convert. Interesting. Interesting. 4% crit is really good. 12% pawn. Good old Joel. Put on glue buff? That's interesting. I could. I could. Let's go ahead and get rid of Mr. Joel here. We have a repeat spam offender. Alright, rest in peace, friend. Rest in peace. Alright, we have roughly... 8.2 mil to go. You got 100,000 tickets? I believe you. I believe you. Put on glue buff? Nah. I don't really need glue for this. Glue only helps if you're trying to harvest. Got 27 seconds left on the world record. We're gonna go ahead and do some oil in about 15 seconds. Your next hive slot is 1.3 billion. You guys should all save until the next hive slot. Like after this stream, grind, 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 buy the next hive slot. Gear is really overrated. If you read what it does versus the amount of time that you are kind of AFK in the game, just keep in mind your bees are your number one source of honey. So if you buy, say, a new shoulder piece or even a new wand, and then you walk out of the room to go get a sandwich, use the bathroom, or a drink, whatever it is. Make sure you always park in a field, but while you're gone, most of your gear is somewhat useless. Somewhat useless. Some of it's good, but the majority of your, your honey and pollen is going to come from your bees. And if they're higher level, that means you're more successful. Hive slot for sure. You have a thousand glitters and royal jellies? Let's see how many royal jellies I have. You guys want to guess? Let's guess first. Whoever can guess closest to how many royal jellies I currently have, you only get one guess. Use stingers. Uh, the reason I'm not using stingers is so that when somebody eventually beats my world record, I can beat them easier by using stingers. I just want to get a world record out there so someone can try to beat it. Hey, Kawaii Kitty, what's up, friend? Yeah, I could probably knock off an additional 20 minutes on this run with Stingers, but I just want to get a world record out there because there's not one. Anybody could have done this, even with level 6 Bs? Because no one ever has streamed an entire snail kill. 10,000? We are currently guessing how many royal jellies I have. If you are the closest with one guess, I will give you a billion doll hairs. What's up, Joseph? With 49,000. That's a good guess. 49,000. I see Griffin with 250,000. That's pretty high. 51,000. Kawhi Love. I, I want to say Kawhi is so far the closest. 250k is a little high, but check it out. Almost everybody was too low. So here's my grand total of royal jellies. Check it out. I have 86,000. 86,000 royal jellies. That means I can go to my hive and roll and probably get half my hive gifted legendary right now. Seventy-two star jellies helps a lot too. That's probably at least one gifted land bee. How long have I been grinding? 
Uh, these rubber jellies actually come from Stickbug, and since I do anywhere from 30 to 50 a day, yeah, it's a lot of stuff. What do you guys think I would get if I donated 86,000 royal jellies to the, uh, the totem thing? Yeah, Ralph, that's what I was just asking. If I donated all those to the wind shrine, you have 70,000 oils? I don't believe you. That's a lot. Let's see how many oils I have. I guess it's shown down there. 290. 5,000 pineapple. Need to buy some more treats, but eventually. I have almost 300 glitter. I think you need 300 glitter for gummy boots, right? 13,000 gumdrops. Pretty good stuff. Most good. How many badges do you guys have? You guys have almost every badge? I need to work on my quest one. It's only 300 quests away. I really want battle points, but boy, that is very difficult to achieve. Should you buy your next hive slot even if you're broke after? Yes. So here's an interesting tip that nobody fully understands. Uh, Mr. Fresh Toucan, thanks for the question. So the question was basically, do I buy my next hive slot or level my next bee, even though that means me going to zero honey afterwards? If you are saving honey and not using it, you are basically not playing the game. I've seen a lot of people that had level 12 bees for their whole hive, saving close to like 50 billion honey, just waiting for an update. And that is 50 billion honey that they could have leveled up their bees with for many, many months. So my, my way of playing every, all the way up to level 15 was the second I had enough to upgrade a bee, I would do it. Go to zero and then work on the next thing. If you're saving, then that's a lot of time that you're wasting with bees that aren't at max potential. So if your next bee level is like 10 million honey, grind that out, spend it immediately. That way you have a bee that's a higher level and then continue grinding. You have 59 hive slots? I don't believe that either. Good old Azra. Good old Azra. Look at all these. I wish there's one in here that I could click. I wonder which badge I have the most of. This one's got 288 billion? 288 billion, wow. That's a lot. I guess the only one I've done more in is Pine Tree. Do you guys wish there was a, uh, a Grandmaster badge for Mountaintop? Because I do. Looks like we're closing in on the last 5 million. Do you guys want to type exclamation mark luck? Hopefully we beat the uh, world record. You still need Grandmaster and Playtime? Yeah, I struggled with that in Hardcore until the very end. That was rough. What happens if I put Paul and text on? Interesting. Check that out. That is interesting. See the yellow numbers? The yellow numbers are the ones from bees that do not harvest blue or red honey. Specifically Lion Bee, Token Link. Cool stuff. Uh, let's see. Conversion rate's high. Conversion amount. Loot lock. Hmm. Most all of this is pretty low. It used to be a lot higher. But check out the bee attack. So nine bee attack? How many bee attack do you guys have? Go look. Check out your bee attack. See what is that. Also, somebody let me know in chat. What is your crit power? Anybody have higher than 618? Oh, I should do a face reveal. That's a good idea. I never thought of that. What's up, Peyton? The yellow is honey. Correct. Uh, bro moment asks, I need two more quests until second spirit pedal. Should I get pedal wand or pedal belt? I would specifically go for the wand 
because not only is it cheaper, but the wand, I believe, uh, kind of broke the game just by itself. The wand is pretty OP. I'd go with the wand. Tree Labs. What's up, buddy? I actually am not stingering just specifically because this will be a world record regardless. So this will be a world record around an hour and 20 minutes long. And it will be the only world record out there because no one else has recorded the entire thing. I could stinger, yes. But that'd be a lot of stingers. And I don't really want to waste them on something that's going to be a world record even if I don't. Your crit power is 515? Wow. Add Clefable? I should. Face reveal at 10k? We should do that, yeah. I need to do my coconut thing real quick. Oh, I move that every time. Crap. Take damage. Do damage. So, as one of our viewers pointed out, if you take damage and do your emergency coconut thing like that, you actually do a lot more damage. I would follow him around for the last 5 mil, but I'm kind of lazy, so we're just going to put this back in place. Back in place. Good deal. Alright, so I don't know how long we've been streaming for. we got 30 seconds left on the oil. I want to say I've used 5. Your crit is 617? Really? What level are your bees, Trill? I got you beat by a percent. Is the best sprinkler worth it? I would say no. I wouldn't buy a saturator until all your bees are 14. Alright, 14 seconds left on these. Alright, oil's up. Here we go. Alright, 10 minutes left. I am hoping I can knock out the remaining 5 mil in those 10 minutes. Why do you need oil? That makes the bees faster. If I didn't oil, we'd be here for an extra 30 minutes. Make a Reddit page? I should do that. I think I have one, actually. Uh, can we try uh, exclamation mark merch? Exclamation mark merch. I know uh, Onnit's been selling t-shirts. But if you guys want some real quality BSM t-shirts, come and check it out. Your Vicious is 18 and Tabby is 17. Nice. Are you a uh, top 10 stick bug, Trill? Are you top 10 stick bug? You, st you killed your stump, to stump snail today, Solo? Congrats. So, I'm hoping I get a, a Supreme. But if I get another diamond, that's okay. It'll give me uh, 50 more tickets. But a Supreme at the end of a world record would be really nice. We're down to the last 4 mil. What's up, Philip? Am I going to wait for Baby Lab before killing the snail? I am not because I don't have Baby, baby B. Uh, baby B, in my opinion, is kind of a gimmick. If you have to have a bee that relies on luck, that almost never drops the token, it's kind of a waste of a bee slot, to be honest. Ryan Lamb says, what would you play if Bee Swarm Simulator never came out? I actually would play a game called Bit Heroes that I played before this. I think I made 700 videos for that game. Uh, Trell says, no, I'm not. I really don't like that... Stick bug, skis, skis, skis. Interesting. So you leveled your vicious bee to 18, but you don't like to do stick bug. That's interesting. That is interesting. Uh, somebody named Trell? Trelly? That is the claim. Hive pick, or it didn't happen. What's up, Philic? Uh, Philip, can you get a star egg out of stump snail? I don't know. I don't know. I think I've gotten at least a few eggs from the snail, I want to say. You're about to get the fire mask? Who got Do I have bear bee? Yes. Who 
when you kill it 50 times, you will get 100% supreme, supreme amulet. Interesting. Is it true you get a gifted egg the third time you kill it? I have no idea. Are diamond trenches worth it? You mean the 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 blue ones? Uh, I don't know. Not really. Honestly, I don't think your bees harvest enough flowers until they're about 14. I actually skipped the uh, sprinkler that does the times four. I went from the three uh, straight to the saturator, but I didn't buy a saturator till all bees were 15. Do I have windy bee? Yes. I got a diamond egg from the snell today. Nice. How long has this taken so far? We are roughly at an hour. Mick, how long did it take you to get Demon Mask? Good question. Uh, I personally would not grind for Demon Mask until... Until you can get Bronze Amulet from the Stick Bug without Demon Mask, your hive just isn't ready. So, focus on leveling bees until you can get Bronze, and then get your Demon Mask. That way you can skip to Silver. If you're not good enough or dying frequently, then that means Demon Mask really isn't going to help you. Just because you buy Demon Mask doesn't mean you're just instantly going to be great at stick bug. You have to practice stick bug until you do not die for the entire 10 minutes. 76 minutes? Okay. Last three, last three mil? I see a lot of people coming in now. A lot of people here. Do I have Gifted Rage Bee? Yes, yeah, so I have four Gifted Rage Bees. Uh, this is just because I primarily do Stick Bug. Uh, if you have three Gifted Rage Bees, that's probably the sweet spot. But I choose to get four, uh, not only for an additional token link, but because sometimes your Rage really gets close to falling off. And during Stick Bug, since you move around a lot, it can fall off. So I have four, that way I can get the world record. Can I add you? Uh, type exclamation mark join and you can you can join me. Would leveling be more efficient than a slot? No, I would go with another slot because that's more tokens your bees are dropping. Uh, Ralph, I saw a question but it was all in caps and Nightbot took it away. I think he was asking if I could add any item to the game, what would it be? That's a good question. Um. What do I feel is missing in the game? Hmm. I'd have to think about that one. It's a good question, though. Is there a way to get Stingers Fash? I, I wish. Wish. I do a lot of uh, server hopping, where I drop from this server and go to one of like 50 others I have access to. And I'd say server hopping is the best way to get Stingers. You can randomly get them from uh, Scorpion, so make sure to kill Scorpion on cooldown, but that's about it. You can get them from too. I'm actually not. What would you do with 100 trillion honey, treats, royal jelly, etc? 100,000 100, treats, I'd probably level up my Vicious Bee. Uh, 100,000 royal jellies? I actually have close to that right now. I have... Uh, 86,000? 86,000 real jellies, so I should add 100,000 probably by the... by Wednesday. I don't think I'm going to do anything special with them. Uh, eventually, whenever I want to change to start leveling my bees, which may never happen, I will start changing a bunch of bees in my hive, and that'll take thousands of real jellies. Should you use, should I get Vicious Bee with tickets or use the tickets for something else? Vicious Bee is very good. If you can get him with a few tickets, buying Stingers, I would. But if it's still a ways off after using the tickets, I probably wouldn't. Early on, it's actually best not to use your tickets. Uh, Boko, I don't see a question, buddy. Try to ask again. Uh, last two million. Exclamation mark luck. Exclamation mark luck. Everybody now sing it. What's up, low cat? What should I focus on? Leveling my bees to level 11 or 12 or hive slots? I would do hive slot. Always hive slot. 
Have I ever used Robux and B sound? Yes. You have a thousand tickets? Well, I mean, if you can get vicious B, I'd do it. Uh, this guy says, I think there should be a rare leaves drop, and if you use it, you get a 1.5 mod drop. Mob drop luck plus 100 luck. Hmm. I don't really like luck in the game. It's kind of like if you can't see what you're dealing with. I don't. I don't really like like baby love stuff like that. Because luck to me just just says that it's random, and you really can't build a good hive around randomness. Should I get honey mask or save for the billion honey? Why would you save for a billion honey? That's my question to you, Bucko. Are you just saving to see big numbers? Usually I would say spend your money as you get it. If you're saving, then that is upgrades that you could have, but you don't. And you're just hurting yourself. So for the last million, I'll probably stop jumping. Uh, oil and stuff. One last minute. Uh, might as well. Alright, we're coming down to the wire. What's my Roblox name? Type exclamation mark join and you can join me. How long you play BSM? Um, I don't know. Does it say game time up here now? August of last year? Okay. Uh, play time. Play time is 122 days? 122 days of game time. How many likes do we have to you guys? If we could hit 60 likes, that'd be phenomenal. So we're approaching the last one mil. Maybe one more rotation. Uh, for those of you that haven't killed a snail before, make sure that you check out the beginning of this video. I give a few tips on how if you put a weight on your space bar, you can actually kill snail super, super fast. So if you play in the game, you just did a bunch of stick bug, or you just need to take a break, park yourself in stump, find a book or something heavy. I use a a magazine for my 9 mil. Just set it right up there. 71 likes. Nice. Thanks a lot, guys. If we could hit 80, that'd be phenomenal. We also need three more subs before the end of the night. What's that, Patrick? Three more subs would be great. Oh, let's see, last 900,000. So, now comes another tip. If you really want to attempt to beat the world record, here is my tip to you. Uh, in addition to getting the emergency coconut thing that we just got, if you follow the snail very closely, literally directly under his booty, your, your bees will actually fly less distance uh, while delivering your tokens to the ground. And if you do this, you'll notice he dies very fast. And this is because your bees are going from attacking to you one inch away and then back to attacking instantly. If you stand way over here, your bees have to fly the whole distance and then back to the snail. And that means downtime. So here we go, exclamation mark luck. If we hit 100 likes, that'd be great. Exclamation mark luck. Can we get supreme? Please. New sub, who was it? Uh, Psychics, thanks for the new sub. Alright, making sure we're not clicking now. Uh, sprouts. Go, go. Do sprouts. All right, here we go. Exclamation mark luck. Please. Let me do a micro converter just cause. All right, what will I get? Let's do a sprout party, guys. Oh, there's an egg. Nice, we got an egg. Last 300K. Make sure you're not clicking the screen when you're doing your last few hits, because you will die. There we go. 
world record in like 10 seconds. Uh, Minecraft Gamer, I see you, buddy. Noticed. There we go. World record. GG. Diamond. I did get the defense though. That's gonna help tremendously. Bond for battle. Uh, I'm gonna take the new. I'm not even sad that it wasn't supreme because that plus five defense is gonna help a lot on stick bug. Not too shabby. Well, there you go, guys. Let's see on time. Uh, 125. One hour, 25 minutes. One hour, 25 men is the new world record for snail. There we go. Feel free to share. One hour, 25 minutes. Uh, I can bring it down to sub one hour if I use stingers. I could also use uh, jelly beans, but since there's no board, I don't see a reason yet to do so. So until there's a board, I will just infinitely hold the record unless you see someone else do the entire stream live. Now keep an eye out because there are a few YouTubers that I know that will do a fast paced, fast forward of the snail kill. However, that doesn't quite count and here's why. If they snip time, and they go from like 30 mil to 25, or 25 to 10, if there's missing chunks of time, you don't know how long it took. So, since this was live, this is officially the only world record video on the planet of killing the snail in a record time. One hour, 25 minutes. If you guys want to join me, type exclamation mark join. If you have 40 or more bees, I do prioritize the bigger hives. Type exclamation mark discord. Make sure to send me a hive pick directly with your name and I will add you. I try to stream every day and I'm trying to get as many people a new stick bug amulet as possible. So if you want to come along, feel free. I did want to give a shout out to all of these peeps. Uh, Enzo, Kirby, Kitty Cat, LOL Cats, and Player Rick. Also, we're doing another giveaway. Exclamation mark giveaway in chat. Don't forget to enter before you leave tonight. You can enter up to three times by leaving your name and amount of bees on various new videos. Just go around and spam your name. I'll see you guys in the next one. This is McPurlsive signing off. Take care and always remember, no matter what they say, you, specifically you, are the only...